Today we're in beautiful Paris, Ontario. That's my hometown and this project I'm working on very dear to my heart. It's my nephew Zach Delpy who's been in the NHL and AHL for almost seven years and we're going to have to figure out how we can come together and make this place look beautiful. This is the living room and dining room area. I got to do furniture layout, color aesthetics and Zach, I can't make it look like the Hockey Hall of Fame. Sorry buddy, we're going to have to come to some kind of agreement. Okay, so here we are, we're done. You can see there's been a transformation. I'm here with my nephew, Zach. And you know, the journey of design is one that you have to investigate and draw from people. What do they like? And he didn't really want to tell me what you liked. You <laughs> couldn't give me any answers, but you did good because you chose all these things in the kitchen first. Yeah, I, I mean, I had a little bit of help, but at the end, I think I did an okay job. You chose this backsplash, which is a hexagon, mm -hmm. and basically, it, people go with subway tiles. So you took a bit of a risk there, and I think it paid off. You chose granite countertops with lots of texture. And then you picked these. So what made you pick these? I just like the rustic look actually. Next door neighbor at my parents' house has a barn and they have something like this. There's a little more dust and cobwebs on it, but I like that look, so I decided to get So based on that fact, I had to go with an industrial feel for the rest of the place. So like we started off with these stools, which were like raw wood and they had nice metal bases. He chose the floor, which is like a hardwood, chocolate brown, dark. He upgraded that one, good upgrade. And then, which led us over to the dining room, and you did choose this table, which was raw wood and like a granite top. Now, we had a little bit of an issue with the chairs, a little bit of a FaceTime issue at the store. Um, we have our issues. Yeah. I was not a fan of you that day. Uncle actually. Nephew, he wasn't yeah. a fan of me that day, but it's no. all right. We, got, we worked through it, we yeah. worked through it. Um, I wanted to go with something edgy and acrylic, like these Lucite chairs. You wanted something a little more rustic chic. Mm -hmm. And let's just say they didn't have enough in stock, so Uncle Sean got his way, and I think that... <laughs> Did they not have enough in stock? Yeah, they had enough okay. in stock, but anyway. Okay. <laughs> so this led to the wallpaper, which is a beautiful fake barn board. You liked it. I, no, you really liked it. You really yeah. liked it. And then we put some beautiful family mementos on here. Tell me about what this is. It's my first NHL goal, so January 1st, 2011. Uh, I think I'm... 23 in that picture, but I'm acting like I'm 12. So jumping through the air, it was cool. A little bit of a proud uncle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a very important piece. It was a, it was a gift to you. Yeah, a uh, housewarming gift from a friend. But uh, the most important thing, it says LD. That's my mom, Lisa Delphi, and that was always her family saying. So we thought we'd incorporate it in here. Off the dining room is the living area. And one of the things that you had done is you chose some of the furniture. You chose brown leather and you got a brown floor and a brown coffee table. And one of my problems was it's a little color starved in here. So something about Zach is that he's not just a hockey player. He's also a romantic kind of guy. He likes to play music and write songs. So I thought I'd put a music wall over here for you. I think being a hockey player, like you said, you have a ton of downtime. and. A lot of guys go home and play video games and I don't want to do that. So I picked up the guitar about eight years ago maybe and started playing and just completely addicted. I heard you were on air with uh, Sarah McLaughlin on, uh, I saw it on YouTube. Yeah, I got to sing uh, I Will Remember You actually, yeah. a hit song on, on YouTube, so oh, it was wow. cool. Yeah. So what about this poster though? This poster is uh, who I think is well, a god, Dallas Green. He plays in the band City in Color and wow. I guess one of my favorite, one of my favorite uncles got it for me for one Christmas. One of your favorite uncles. Yeah. And did he get the poster for you, or did he get the poster signed? Yeah, it's signed, for you? and uh, I actually went to this concert. This oh, you did. Particular oh, that's one. cool. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Now the thing is, is that I wasn't really looking at the poster. I was looking at the color of the poster because I'm a designer, and I'm like, how am I going to follow that color through in here? And I did. So you can see there's some gold, there's some white, there's some green, there's some blue, and we tried to put that in. You can see in the sideboard here, it has a little bit of gold, a little bit of blue. There's even some green. And we had to kind of spice that around in little bits so that your eye wouldn't be so hungry for color. And when you see it, it's actually enough to fulfill the room. And then you wanted something to put all your stuff in, which I like, which yeah, I know you're a bit of a neat guy. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen that before, but I like it. You got a, you know, you got a beautiful book on Derek Sanderson. Who the heck's that? But anyway, I'm not, <laughs> uncle's not a sports you guy. You wouldn't know him. But no, I wouldn't know A lot him. of people would. Grateful Dead, you yeah. know, you got it all going on here. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. a part-time musician in my own head. <laughs> 